<laughs> I just sat on a shoe. The things I do for YouTube. <laughs> As promised, I will be doing a bra review on BHR Brian's Cheek. I will show you the box, and if you would like to pause it to read his info card, you may. There's the first one, and the second one. So this is just what his box looks like. There's nothing special, really, about it. This is number. And the spirit of the horse, and then that's the name. And on every briar box, there's just this. So, yeah, nothing really special. It's a really big box because, well, he's a really big horse. Shocker, right? Yeah, so let's just get on to the motel, shall we? <clears throat> also, just ignore the stuff and ignore that thing because I don't know. Why that? Oh yeah, I do. I know what's there. Never mind, never mind. Alright, so to the horse. So, BHR, Brian's Jake. I'm just gonna call him Jake, if, because it'll make it easier for me. So Jake is on the Wixom mold, and I will put whatever year Wixom came out. I don't know what year that mold came out. But if any of you have the Wixom mold, or know of it, you know that it's a very big mold, and yeah, it's humongous. I will try to do comparisons with maybe some well-known horses later on in this video. But let's just get on, shall we? Alright, so starting off with his coloring, I do believe they say he's a chestnut color on his box. Let me just make sure. It doesn't say, actually. Um, it just says he's a Novero. That's his pattern. And I'm pretty sure he's chestnut, but I'm not sure. Like, completely sure. So, correct me if I'm wrong on that. So, he has very beautiful markings. His shading is... It's okay. It's not, like, you can't really tell his shading. For me, anyway. Because it's just so, um dark. I don't really see shading in him. But I will try to show you all his markings. There's just some on his legs. I love his markings. Like ever since I saw this guy I have wanted him because I just loved how his markings were. And he's a really pretty boy. And as you know the I think the original Wixom is a mare but they made uh, Jake into a gelding because he is a gelding. So yeah, there's his other side. So you can get good, good glimpse of him. And I'm, I'm sorry if my hands are shaking. I kind of had a lot of sugar. And plus, he's just a really big horse, and he's kind of heavy for a briar, so. Yep. So that's his markings. And on all four of his hooves, he is, like, they're not exactly striped. They're kind of, like, cross-hatched in a way. It's like tic-tac-toe on his hooves. <laughs> his hooves are really pretty, though. I really like them. They're really nicely shaded and patterned. I won't really call them stripes, like I said, because they're not exactly just stripes. More like cross hatching, if you can tell. And then he has a blue eye, which is, if you're facing him, is his right eye. And then his left eye is brown. Get good lighting on that, maybe. 
it's like a really dark brown so it's kind of hard to see you can you can kind of tell right there and for his little ribbon his tail they are purple a really nice dark purple kind of matches his coloring and everything it goes really well now to just the flaws I have I have really simple flaws on mine they're not like tuper tuper yep tuper mm -hmm. they're not super like horrible it's just like your normal everyday briar flaws <clears throat> he has smudging every now and then on his markings which I'm not too but hurt about because I don't really show my models. I kind of just buy models because I like them. And I really wanted this guy because it's just so pretty. And I love I love that little marking because it looks like a heart. <laughs> Is he giving you a kiss? He's like Mwah. and really just smudging is my problem there's nothing really else wrong with him that I know of I don't know if that's really a flaw that like seam thing right there on his forelock going into his forehead but you never know and he has like a it's not a scratch just a dark sort of dark line right there you can kind of see it but like I said it's not that noticeable it's not too bad yeah so would I recommend this model I would definitely recommend him but I'll show you in a second just how big he is so just be kind of prepared for a giant horse that will take up a lot of your shelving if you have your horses in shelves because he will take up like a ton of room <laughs> and it's kind of insane because he's so big because I have here I have two horses on this mold and they literally both of them and one other horse can fit down here and that's it like no one else can fit down here just look how massive they are so yeah I have her on this mold she's my only other Wixom horse mold thing and I'm gonna just get like a few other horses to show you their um, his size comparison to them, so you just have a idea of how big he is. And I got mine off of eBay. I think it was eBay or Amazon. I'm not really sure. He was like 45 bucks. He's not too bad, not too cheap either. It's like your average everyday briar horse model, traditional size expense price thing so yeah let me just go grab a few more horses just to show you how big this guy is just so you guys know if you're thinking of getting him or if he's gonna be your first Wixom horse like your Wixom old then you know okay let's go all right to just show you the comparison and size I have Huynh here who I will be doing a review on later or if you've already seen it, then hey, <laughs> what is up? So, from the front, I mean, they're they're the same height, roughly, from the front. <laughs> so, to the side or from the back, we'll do the back first, and then we'll do the side. Just turn him around. Turn her around. You can see that he is a lot taller. <laughs> and then if I were to do a side view, like so, her back is here, his back is here. <laughs> so just from the Huin model or the is this the Forever Sage mold, I think, maybe, I suppose so, I'm not sure. <laughs> so from that mold, you can definitely see the size difference, which is 
insane. The next model I have to um, compare him to, I tried to pick horses I had in molds that were popular, like a lot of people like these molds. And for one, I only have one horse in this mold, which is the Flash Mold. This is Juniper, and if you guys want reviews on any of the horses I have or that I'm showing you comparing to Jake right here, then just let me know in the comments below and I will do it. So from the front, you can definitely tell that um, <laughs> Juniper is very tiny compared to Jake, and Jake just literally towers over him. And then from the side, you can definitely see that Jake is humongous compared to Juniper here. Ah, uh, sorry Juniper. Looks like Jake is a little bit bigger than you and that is not a pretty angle. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> so yeah. Compared to the flash mode, uh, Jake makes Juniper look like a foal. The next mode I have to compare him to is the, I think it's called like the cantering quarter horse or something like that. It's whatever, um, Harley Dezup and, oh, I can't remember that one horse, I'll put his name in somewhere. Because of my awesome editing, edit, edit, editing skills. So on this mold, this is Tallulah, by the way. So compared to Tallulah, he also towers over her. His head is literally twice the size of hers. <laughs> if you cannot tell, his head is ginormous compared to her. And just look at their hoof size differences. Just, just look at that. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and sorry, from the side, he's just like, <laughs> humongous. So there's those two. And I figured to be fair, since uh, Jake is a giant horse, that I compare him with another giant horse. And this mold is the Othello mold. This is SBH Phoenix, and he too is a drafter. So I was like, it just seems fair to compare Jake with another draft horse. So, height difference since um, Phoenix has his head kind of tilted down, he doesn't look as tall, but I think they are both either exactly the same size or really close in it as you can see their backs are kind of they're pretty level like if I were to put my hand on top I think Jake is just a tiny bit higher than Phoenix here but like their hoof size are hoof size their hoof size are pretty similar Yep, there's my country accent, everyone. I don't have a country accent. <laughs> it just kind of happened. I mean, they're pretty similar, if you ask me. His are, his definitely look bigger because he doesn't have fur. Or feathering, I should say. Like Phoenix does. But yeah, they're pretty similar in size. Uh, Jake is just a little bit taller, and I'm pretty pretty sure he's wider and he's not as long because what the Othello mold has is this fanning out tail which really gives him part of his length and it's just it's just a long mold to be honest so yeah that's all I have to compare him with I do have other horses but I will be comparing them with uh, the other two I will be reviewing and Phoenix will not stand Alright, there he goes, he's fine. Alright. So, I would definitely recommend uh, Jake here. I, w I would just want you guys to be aware that he does take a lot of room and that he's ginormous. So if you're thinking about getting him, get him, get him for a reasonable price. People are trying to sell him for like, 
I've seen him up for 70 bucks. I got mine for 45 so you can definitely find him for a lot cheaper than that. Don't just buy the first one you see. Go through um, all the different websites that sell model horses and just find the one that makes the best deal for you. And just be aware of his size, be aware of smudging and possible seams and maybe scratches. I honestly don't know where he got that little mark right there, but you know, it happens sometimes. Briar just, they just, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye Alright, as promised, I will be doing reviews on... Blah, 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 blah,